Hi guys and welcome to the Cutting Room Floor podcast. I'm Laura and I like all things Marvel, Murder and Marine. And joining me each week will be my co-host Brian um, and co-creator of this podcast. He is awesome and what he doesn't know isn't really worth knowing. So let's get on with the episode. Like every Zelda game, when he opens up the uh, when he opens up the chest, he's all like, da, 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 da. "That's the ocarina of time." Yeah, he does ocarinas too. Yeah, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That was is a... that getting the horse over? Yeah, it's the rise song. Uh, no, opponent song. <laughs> <laughs> One of them. That's and the horse. That's the horse. Epona. He's damn cute, and and we love him. Um, Is it him or her? Couldn't tell you. He doesn't have well, a he doesn't have a horsey thing. You don't know. There's no. There's no polygonal evidence. There's no tripod. <laughs> there's no tripod. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I guess if he was a. So I think it's a lady then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go with Epona being a lady. Epona's kind of like a lady. It's then. a pretty name. Yeah. Totally works. Hi guys! Hey! How you doing? I'm good! You alright? Yeah, it's kind of warm again today, so... I'm... Hot, 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 lots of ice cream being eaten. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to fall asleep. Love ice cream. I mean, I'm going to power through this podcast. Yeah! I'm ready. Energy level. I know what I'm talking about today. Oh yeah, we are talking about... What are we talking about today? American Gods. Whoop, whoop. Finished, yeah. finished that the other week. We have indeed. We just finally finished episode eight of American Gods on Amazon Prime Video. Yeah. Other Netflix-like streaming services are available. We're not the BBC. We can plug Amazon <laughs> Prime for life. Maybe they'll give us free stuff. Yeah, Amazon Prime is great. We love Amazon Prime. We probably need more than like one subscriber. <laughs> but... uh, you know, they might hear it. They might hear it. That one subscriber could be from Amazon Prime. Could be. That's true. Well, we love Amazon Prime. That'll be one of our 200 friends that we've made download and listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon ah, you... Prime. Ah, well, Amazon Prime is mostly crap on there, in fairness. It's no, the preachers, all right. Amazon, like, original series are really good. Black Sails, oh, yeah, Vikings, right. yeah, true. American Gods. Yes. And speaking of American gods... Nice segue. <laughs> Thank you. I've been practicing. Um, That's good. <laughs> yeah, um, let's, talk, let's, let's talk about it. What do you think of the series as a whole? We're done. The first seven episodes were great. The eighth episode was Pants. Hey, yeah, sure, sort of, basically. The, the thing that this show does really, really well is it introduces new characters that you're instantly like... Whoa! What god is this? I need to Google everything about this person. The like the the vagina lady. Yeah. Okay. We'll come to her. Goddess of love. Sheba. Yeah. She. Or doesn't she have another name? Is terrifying. Bilquis. Bilquis. That's it. Yeah. Bilquis. Absolutely terrifying. Any person who can eat a man with her vagina is pretty scary. To be yeah. honest. But don't uh, all women do that? Um, Boom. I hope not. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, then you. Uh, is she your favourite then? Who's your, your favourite? No. Who's, who's your favourite character we've been I introduced to? Let's start here. Liked. I liked um, the uh, the leprechaun. Oh, yes. He was, although he was a bit of a douche. Mad sweetie. Yeah. Mad, yeah, he was cool. <laughs> I liked. Um, Laura, obviously. Laura Moon. Oh, uh, yeah. She was cool, particularly when she was dead. 
She's a bit badass. She was... I don't know if I like her personality, but uh, but she's a bit of a badass. And oh, and I liked the lady, X Files lady. Gillian Anderson's character. Yeah. What? Do, who does she play? She plays media. The yeah. new god media. She was cool. Yeah. Well, I want to talk about her in more detail, so I guess we'll come back to her. But yeah. she's probably my favourite as well, if I'm honest. She was cool. Um, if not, just just Mr. Wednesday in general. Just I just love Ian McShane's... Oh, uh, yeah. But Odin. he was nasty. But I just love his just sort of... Do you like his nastiness? <clears throat> I like that he starts off part-time doddering old man, and then he just goes... Boom! Every now and again, and then he's like chopping people's neck off. He doesn't chop his chop his head off. So I guess cuts cutting him in the throat. Oh, what Vulcan? Vulcan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a new character, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, there, there, there's a whole bunch. But why don't we start with the premise? Do you like this? This the way they drop you into this kind of world? So it starts off with Shadow Moon. Who's just a guy who's gone to prison. Just a man. <laughs> the man's courage. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and uh, he... Uh, he's in prison. He's in prison, yeah. And, and you find out later on why he's in prison, but then as soon as he's released, pretty much his world is another down. And then he's uh, I like that on a road trip with Mr. Wednesday. About it. Where you're not sure of the, like, where it's going... So you like sort of start and you're like, oh, this is a bit confusing. And then you'll see a character that you don't actually get introduced to. Yeah. And then like later on, a couple of episodes down, what I'm particularly thinking about is Anasi. So you... Anansi, yeah. Mr. Nancy as well oh, as his name. I'm yeah. sorry. Did I say it wrong? <laughs> sorry. Anansi or Anasi. It could be Anasi, maybe. No, because it's got a, another N in there. Oh, right. <laughs> Anansi. Yeah. So you see on the boat. Yeah. And you're, you're kind it's of... It's just a random scene at the beginning of an episode. Random yeah. scene and you're like, oh, Like, some people might know who he is, especially if they've read any Neil Gaiman. Um... But then other people will be like, oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah. And then later on, like a few episodes down the line, you, you know, Mr. Wednesday and Shadow go and see Mr. Nancy. And you're like, oh, that's the same character. And then yeah. you learn a bit more about him. Very cool. And like you, you, you kind of get, you don't get all the story all at once, which I really, really like. Yeah. And it also doesn't necessarily run in chronological order. You get a bit of a backflash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really like that. Uh, and it was very pretty. It was visually very nice. Visually, yes. I mean, yes. the cinematography is just ridiculously good. I mean, you're talking better than average TV level, easy. Yeah. And just just like like Breaking Bad level shit, kind of. Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, obviously the they want to really, really change the environment, depending on the god that you're interacting with which I like it's got it's, it's very cool like yeah. it just it feels like the entire scene is dedicated to who you're being introduced to um, a lot of the time which is nice I very much like that um, and what you were saying about the um, uh, the introductions I think almost all the introductions I can think of are like that where you get dropped in like there'll be a drop in scene of um, the the Ibis Taking someone up to, to, to oh the, yeah, the he scales. was cool. And then and then later on, he works in a in in a shop. With no, he do, he's doing the um. Is it a morgue? The morgue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he yeah, does all right. the bodies because that's how he meets Laura. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ibis and the Jackal work together, and the Jackal yeah. is just telling stories. Of oh, that's cool. God's past, which is kind of a nice way of having subplots that aren't relevant but are cool. Yeah. And then maybe a little bit relevant later, like the Nancy yeah. one. Yeah, very, very cool. I love Mr. Nancy. He's this kind of hyperactive, hyper aggressive god who very much strongly believes in his cause, which is that black people should be the dominant race, basically, I guess. Yeah. Or at least on equal footing. And he's just but he's just so He's great. Oh, I loved I mean I love the guy in um 
evolution where he just is himself, I guess. Back in the day, that evolution film from like 2000 or something with David Duchovny, which I love as a film. I think mm-hmm. it's hilarious. But uh, yeah, him and that is funny. Sean Williams. Uh, Sean Williams Scott, isn't it? Scott, as well? that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's so good. And yeah, I love also that he's a Technicolored spider. I mean, that's. Oh, yeah, that really was cool, cool, yeah. Really cool style. And thing. he's a. Uh, Taylor, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I like that they have like jobs. Yeah, yeah, they're just kind of like real people. So in this universe, before we get ahead of ourselves, in this universe, everything you believe, anything anyone believes in uh, at any point, can manifest itself as a god, which is like, I guess, a physical person, basically. And then once they're manifested, they're kind of here for good. Yeah. From what I can tell. Um, and. Um, the more people believe in them, the more powerful they are, yeah, and like absolutely. the stronger they are. So there's like multiple Jesuses because yeah. each co- each culture. So there's like a Mexican Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. There's Jesus Prime, who is I guess the the, the main one. The main or, I don't know from the main <laughs> Jesus <laughs> from where. There's a Spanish yeah. Jesus. There's a like yeah French Jesus. There's French, a whole load of, yeah. yeah. I, I, it amused me greatly because I think if you tried to break that news to Southern America that there was multiple G's I. G's I? <laughs> I think that would is that, the, is that the plural of Jesus? Just made it G's up. I. Let's go with it. I like it. <laughs> How are your G's I? Yeah, they're not bad. Thanks. Good. Uh, getting them seen later in the week by a doctor. <laughs> no, Brian. <laughs> All right. That was a bit grim. <laughs> a bit below the belt. No. A bit blue. I liked Easter too. She was Oh, yeah. Cute. Our star, the lady... Who is she's in... the more star or something? Ostara. Yeah, she's the person who plays her. Something now. about she's Glinda. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I love. She was the original Glinda from Wicked, from the original Broadway production of Wicked. Yeah, along with Idina Menzel back yeah. in, back in the first run, and then they're both in Glee as well. Who cares about mm-hmm. that pointless fact? But yeah, <laughs> yeah, but she was cool. That was very cool. I enjoyed that. Um. But Could, she's she's like spring, I guess, isn't she? Yeah, I think she's sort of spring personified. There's a little bit of Easter there. Well, um, they call her Easter, don't they? Yeah. But she's like rebirth and I think all of that. I think the original holiday was Ostara, and then it got sort of bastardised into Easter. So I think that's where she got the name from. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, just like a, basically. A billion amazing characters. I really like all of them. I like all the acting as well. I think they're really good. Yeah, they're really good. Do we like Shadow Moon? That's the question. His name is... Whittle. Ka- Calvin. No, his name was Calvin in, in Hollyoaks. Yeah, um, correct. Ricky. Ricky Whittle is his name. Yeah. Yeah. And he... What do you think? Going from his Hollyoaks well, glory days. For the fact, for the fact that... He used to be in Hollyoaks, the worst of the English soaps. He's so bad. He has done well, and I think for coming from a soap background and having to act with some pretty high calibre actors yeah there's a whole bunch of famous people in this absolutely he i think held his ground really well and he was quite a good yeah you know like leading man and i really like i really thought he did really well and his american accent was really good yeah really good in the same sort of way as i think house's accent what the hell is his name hugh Hugh Laurie. there we go in the same way that Hugh Laurie's American accent is. It's kind of nondescript general American accent. But also, like, as far as we're concerned, as uh, British people who don't give a gift to them, <laughs> um, it's really good. Yeah, I actually loved it. Yeah. I thought, like, one of my friends c- can't get on with this show because he he's, doesn't really like the, the the script. Like, he just finds it kind of tough because everyone sort of does the kind of splurge or whatever they're thinking all the time and that just seems to be how everyone speaks in the show mm. <clears throat> what do you think of that 
I mean, is that okay with you? Yeah, or? I I didn't I didn't mind it because you when we first went in, into this, you were like, oh, I don't know how you're going to get on with this because it's heavily stylized. It's yeah, stylized. Yeah. It's a little bit weird, yeah. and you know I don't really do kind of weird. But I yeah, the only criticism I have of it was the last episode. Yeah, but. Even the like bits that they were doing, you know, where they, the new gods, and they put that weird mask on people. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. they go into that weird like dimension yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So, and all those weird like faceless henchmen or whatever that the new gods have. Like, even them, I was like, yeah, on board. Yeah, like, sure, yeah. Get it, make it a bit weirder. That weird <clears throat> glowing eye elk thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a god or something, isn't it? Yeah. The glowing eyed. Yeah, probably. I mean, I didn't... Elky thing. Didn't Google it, but it's probably... And they, um, yeah. It's like, yeah. And all the weird dreams that Shadow Moon yeah. was having, I was loving it. Yeah, that's fair. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of a basic plot, isn't it, really? I mean, it's like, it's literally this old god, Mr. Wednesday, whoever he is, it's revealed at the end, it doesn't matter, he's Odin. Um, but you kind of can pick up on that. Yeah, you, you know. kind of. If I think if you're paying attention, yeah, you can work it out very quickly. Just that Wednesday is is Odin's day. Yeah, it's just a, a dead giveaway. Really, Odin's but. day. Yeah, indeed. And also, uh, Chernobog from like whatever episode in the middle where they try and recruit another guy. He, <gasps> he calls him Wodan. All is the that time. the one played by the Prison Break guy? Uh, yeah. He just oh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. good. Fucking gross, yeah, but awesome. But yeah, so yeah, he's, I like, and the Russian sisters, they're all the star girls, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was very cool because where did they go? There was clearly a subplot happening there about yeah, the sisters. I've just realized, just never that didn't went anywhere. materialize, did it? It's kind of cool. I mean, it just gives them room for later, I guess. I suppose you know, they're not doing everything in one go, are they? Like. I'm guessing there'll be more series, so they probably yeah. are leaving things. Yeah, uh, they do, uh, so, I guess they're trying to introduce as much as possible without having to address it all, which is what Lost did without being terrible. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um, and what did you think of Shadow Moon and Laura and their, like relationship yeah i mean it's, it's kind of a kind of interesting one because it's not really like um not really happy no yeah it but i think that's kind of like maybe like a bit of a good fit like it's not like kind of traditional like relationship like she starts off where she's like he doesn't excite her and she's not like she's not super happy with him and you know she has to get excitement by having an affair and it's only when she dies yeah. that she realizes that actually she really really loves him and like i thought it was quite sweet how that like trajectory went where she, she had to die and be brought back to life to realize that like she actually really did love him see so i took that the other way Right. I, I honestly thought that um, she... Uh, um, I don't really like her. Uh, not even at all, if I'm honest. I think she's a really horrible person <laughs> who's massively just abused Shadow and then they're going to go back into an abusive relationship. Um, because, like, I think she doesn't need him so much as... She doesn't love him so much as she, for some reason, needs him because she's not undead now. That's what I think. Like, that glowiness... It wouldn't surprise me if it t she turned around one day and went, like, was like, oh yeah, if we touch each other for more than five seconds, I start draining his life. And then she has to choose between keeping him alive and not going anywhere near him or being a, or sucking his life so that she can get her own life back. No! I, because I just think that the magic wouldn't, like, the magic of, she's got a coin, she's got the Mad Sweeney's magic coin, stuck in her which is why she came how she came out from the dead which is never sort of explained apart from oh it's magic uh it's, a coin. it's lucky it's a lucky yeah. coin so i guess that's the ultimate form of luck yeah i guess yeah you are alive yeah and it might have because mad sweeney was tasked to kill her maybe it actually reversed his luck 
Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, because she sees in black and white and she sees... Um, she sees... She knows where Shadow is all everywhere all the time. I just think that that's because, like, there's some kind of... There's some kind of contract that she's not aware of where if she's hunting Shadow around to, like, get her own life back by taking his. No, I'm going to be... <laughs> you are way I'm more gonna, positive than this than I'm going to be more positive and more sentimental. And I think the glowiness is because she really, really loves him and he's her light. Sure. And she knows where he is all the time because she has a warm, fuzzy feeling in her and that's the light. Oh, well, that's very sweet. <laughs> yes. Naive, maybe, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> no, well, I do think she's a good character, even if I think she's a bit of a, a nutcase. A bum bum. But, but maybe that's the point. Maybe she'll, get, she'll be yeah. kind of a better character as it goes as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If we're talking characters I love to hate, Mad Sweeney. Yeah. Yeah, he was a right... The leprechaun that's not... <laughs> stereotypical like seven foot tall ginger guy yeah <laughs> he was just he was great. all out for himself nasty yeah. boy it was real good but he was good wasn't he and then he sort of redeemed himself a little bit by bringing her back oh, to life oh he did bring yeah. her back to life didn't he he all got right. the choice between his lucky coin and her and, and he, he brought he brought her back to life possibly because he reminds her of the he, she reminds him of the girl that he came to America yeah, for. Yeah, in the, in the um, flashback. Yeah. Who left his bread out for him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind that of That was really nice. cute, wasn't it? That episode was really cute. Yeah, it was. It was I really like good. And uh, the, the, even though it is a, a, a lot of the script is like idiocratic stream of consciousness stuff, I think they do do characters pretty good. Like, I actually do feel for these people. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, I just love it. But, yeah, I mean, the new gods pretty much hate them all, but... Oh, that, um, is it, uh, internet or whatever his... Technical boy. Technical his, boy. Is his actual credit. Oh, is a weird He name. wants a punch in the face. He's, he's such the, a perfect character. Those stupid blue teeth or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I mean, they change all the time, don't they? But in that last oh, episode. Oh, yeah. I just, I love him as a character because he personifies this kind of rich kid of Instagram, modern bullshit. And like, he's great. I just like, he's so, he's so material and so obsessed with like stuff. And oh man, he is a really good, he's really good. He, he's awful, absolutely awful. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, that weird mask thing. You touched on it earlier. The sort of to to come into his world, um, you just for some reason this mask just materialises and it latches onto Shadow Moon's face. Oh, so and then weird. you go into a car. Yeah, you're in like a digital limo. It's so weird, but it's so cool. I love the I love the style. Uh, well, it, uh, while we, while we're following this through. How much did you love Gillian Anderson's oh, media? Oh, she yeah. was great. Like the way the way she did all them different characters. Yeah, so she was she was David Bowie, wasn't she? Iggy she Stardust. Was. She was Marilyn Monroe. Yep. Oh, that was sexy, wasn't it? That was good. And the first time you we see her, Lucille Ball. I love Lucy. I've never seen that. That's another classic. That was good and then just, just she's someone when she's at Easter uh, yes yes she is Judy Garland in the Easter Parade mm. I I don't know I've written that down I don't know who that is uh, <laughs> well, I, I, we know who Judy Garland is obviously she's but, um, um Dorothy yeah yeah she is indeed um, um and like she just does such a good job of like being like multiple different old school celebrities. Oh, she basically. just she just did every <clears throat> character yeah. perfectly. And all the and the scenes like the Ziggy Stardust scene was so cool because the music where, where they she they got break into the um, police station when Wednesday and 
shadow are there. Yeah, yeah. And she's like floating along the and and doing he, the Marilyn Monroe. And he's moment. like he's like, what what you're floating and <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah, absolutely. I love that throughout all of this. For some reason, Shadow Moon is just like relentlessly ignorant. Oh, like he's he's trying to thi- <laughs> he's trying to think like this isn't happening. Yeah, I don't believe it. in anything. And then, right at the end, he decides that he's going to believe in Odin. (laughs) I kind of... uh, I I, I kind of liked it, but... Yeah, the ending build-up was literally just for this whole... This, like, miniature scene where, like, Odin's like, I'm Odin, believe in me, we're going to start a war. No, crackle, it. crackle, lightning bolt, boom. Yeah, it was really anticlimactic, wasn't it? It was, because like, we sort of, we knew what he was planning to do from the offset. Like, he's he been kept going, I'm going to make a war, I'm going to make a war. I just don't get it. It just was a big crackle and boom. I thought it was going to be a bit more to the last episode, and I think yeah, that's why too. I was disappointed. Yeah, like, it too. just was, it was a bit flat. And it didn't really. It sort of felt like they ran out. Going, yeah. It sort it didn't of felt really like they were more anywhere. Like I'm looking forward to, it, you know, if they do another series. But yeah, I just thought it sort of ran a bit flat. They, really. need, they need to keep the pace going if they're going to keep ramping it up. To be honest, Cause, yeah. Because because uh, otherwise, yeah, you just get to this ridiculous situation like we have with Lost, where so many things are unanswered that it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? And yeah. it's just not very nice to the fans. Yeah. But I know, genuinely, I love it. So, can we just clarify, who is on which side at the moment? So, the old god sides yeah. is Odin. Yeah. Chernobog. The Chernobog. He's, oh, <laughs> he's an old Czech god or something. Yeah. The Russian lady. The Russian star sisters, as you call them. So, there's three know, of there. them. Yeah. Easter. Yes. Yeah. She's on his side. And that, she, that was the ending was that, that the new makes, gods were trying to recruit her. She ma- And then she makes everything die. Yeah. That was that was, on, that was kind of cool. I did enjoy that bit. Very much God of Wrath kind of thing. Yeah. And then on the... Vengeful God. Where, which one's said. Nancy on? Is he new gods oh, or old gods? Not, oh, he's definitely an old god. He's an old god. Yeah. And then on the new god side is Media... Yep. Techno boy. Te- technical boy, but yes. Techno boy. <laughs> Mr. World. We didn't really oh, talk about him. Oh, he's weird. We don't really know him about Mr. World. No. That's what's kind of creepy about he's him. He's the leader, isn't he? Yeah. He and then Sheba. Uh, yeah, so Sheba is like an old god turned, I guess. Yeah. Which is an interesting... Well, that's what they're trying to do, aren't they? Turn... All yeah. The... So, so so they they want world domination, don't they? Yeah. So they they want to get like as many as many of the old gods on side. Yeah. Because then they'll be calling their name. They did try it with Odin as well, but he wasn't having any. He weren't. He weren't loving it. They wanted <laughs> to make an Odin missile, missile system. system. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the like, people would be like Odin, Odin, because Odin. Odin. in this world it doesn't matter how people know your name, so long as they so know your as, name. Yeah. <laughs> they, so long as they say your name. Say your name, say your name. <laughs> um, then you're worshipped, I guess. Yeah, yeah, apparently so. That's, yeah. All, that's all they need. Yeah. Which is, which is fair enough. And you do see, like, Bill Quist, her, the, fair enough to her that she went to that side because she had nothing. Oh, she in was. In the modern day, she was properly unfortunate. Yeah, she had dropped mm. significantly in the chain. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I love all the imagery. They, there's a lot of imagery and, and weirdness that I really, really like. Yeah. What, um, just while we're here, do you want to talk about uh, the genie? The djinn? Sorry, same difference. Which one was that? So he was the... Islamic oh, guy. the one that... Taxi driver. The, with the burning, the burning eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, they were so cute. <laughs> I yeah, want them yeah. to be together forever. But he ran away. It was very, it was a very oh, random. Oh, I... Oh, they shared something, clearly. Oh, 
I just want him to find him and them to be in a little happy house together forever and just do <laughs> baking and wear each other's jumpers and oh they were so cute but again that just sort of how it ended really yeah because because he just left them to it right yeah. at the end yeah to go his own so way so I don't know what happened there no I guess we'll have to find out but this whole series seemed like a lead up to something that wasn't in the series. Yeah. I always think is a terrible way to it's do a first series. It's not a good series. way to do a first series, is it? Like, yeah. the, the first series has to be a build up to the second yeah. series. Figuring it's out kind what of. Um, I, I love the. I love this. Uh, just go up quickly back to Chernobyl. I just remembered how much I loved the fact that he. The, the checkers. It's a very, like, old god kind of thing to be like. I challenge you to a duel of your choosing, and yeah. and you have to. That was cool. I very much enjoyed that. Yes. That was very good. Yep. Yeah. So. No. I um I did enjoy it, and yeah. I look forward to series two. For sure. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to say? What about on, on American Gods? Um. My notes are just scroll. Laura's looking at my notes like, what is this? <laughs> is this a different language? What's going on here? No, it's, I think we've pretty much covered everything that I've written down anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I give it a s solid seven and a half out of ten. My, re my review style, are you ready? Mm-hmm. It was fine or it was not fine. Which one was it? And this one was fine. Okay. It doesn't matter how good it was. I could sing his praises all day, but it's either fine or it's not fine. You okay. either enjoy it, you either watch it or you don't. Okay. But I, yeah, no, I, I thought it was great. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, well, b before we get on, we've had a couple of news. Uh, we've, had, we've had a news announcement for the new Doctor Who that we thought we might talk about briefly. <sighs> we should probably should have talked about it at the beginning, just to get out of the way. But no. <laughs> slip it in now. What do you think? So... Uh, it's a lady. Yeah. Jodie Whittaker is About it? time. Yeah. To be honest. Because as Beyonce told us, who run the world, girls. We run the world, girls. Um, and not only is it a lady, it is Jodie Whittaker. Yep. And who I only know from from Broadchurch. But she's great in Broadchurch. She's amazing in Broadchurch. She's absolutely fantastic. From what we've seen of her in Broadchurch, I think it will be a really interesting um, dynamic, particularly if she has a male companion. I think that would be quite interesting to see. Or maybe even a female companion. Like, yeah, it's yeah. something that's never been done before. So, Well, like, they, they kicked out the, the latest companion. He was only there for one season. So. Yeah. <laughs> see, I liked Bill as a character. Yeah, I mean, but I think, I think the way that they like got rid of her as well was quite touching. So yeah. No, I, think it it'll was... be, I think it'll be good to have New Doctor... New companion. New showrunners. New showrunners. Yeah. And just maybe freshen it up a little bit. Definitely. And do and do something different because, like, it is something that's never been done before. There's been no female um, uh, doctor. But what I am... I did think was kind of funny, and it might just be me thinking too much into it, but she's the 13th doctor... And obviously, traditionally, 13 is an unlucky number. <laughs> and I'm like, well, why is the 13th Doctor a, a female Doctor? <laughs> is it unlucky to be a female? And that was like, I might just be thinking too <laughs> think, much into it. I think perhaps you are, yeah. <laughs> but that was what I thought. Yeah. Um, but I'm very excited to see how she plays the Doctor and what she will bring to it. 
I think they're definitely going to be pretty interesting. I hope that she's a bit more of a... Because the last few Doctors, Capaldi and Matt Smith, had a bit of kind of like grumpiness and... <laughs> they were neg- a bit dour. Yeah. Negativity to them. So I hope she goes a bit more, you know, David Tennanty and fun. has a bit more fun with it. Yeah. Like, it was not as convincing as they wanted it to be when uh, Pierre Capaldi's Doctor Who rides in on a tank with an electric guitar hooked um, up with massive speakers. Yeah. Like, I kind of get what they're going for, but, like, that is ultimate senile old man thing. Yeah. And I just don't think it was what the character needed to do at no, that point. He was very senile old man, wasn't he? I, I kind of liked him. Maybe because I like the older Doctor Who's as well. Yeah. Being a bit older. But but I just thought that that season, not the one with Bill, the most recent one, but the se- season before that was just trash. I hated it. Oh, it episode. was rubbish, wasn't it? Boring as hell. But this this one's been pretty good, hasn't it? The latest I think one. The last one was alright. And um, you enjoyed it and you weren't expecting to I wasn't, it. no, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it. But all the Master stuff and yeah, Missy and the Master, because you know how much I adore the Master. John Sim. John Sim Master, yeah, master yeah. <laughs> from David Tennant. Oh. He's great. Absolutely. That that is my favourite, favourite interaction. The Master and David Tennant's Doctor. Yeah. Just brilliant. He's very good. But he's a long way from old school Ming the Merciless looking <laughs> master from back in the day. But no, yeah. Also, I really liked Missy as well. You know, as oh, character. Missy was Missy was cool. She, she was, was nuts, but she yeah. was cool. I mean, I don't know if she needed a redemptive arc, but I thought it was. Oh, nice. I thought yeah, it was right. nice. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and what a, it was proper brutal. The end of the last series, where like. Bill gets turned into a fucking Cyberman. Like yeah, it was just, just happened she, so fast as well. She sort of retains a bit of her humanity. Saves the she day. She saves of in the, the end. day. That's true. And she doesn't let herself go fully into a Cyberman, which I thought was really nice yeah. and touching. And she got her happy ending. She did. That's and true. it was nice. I liked it. I did like it. It sort of rounded off the series quite nicely yeah. coming back to the first episode, I thought. Was yeah. it the first episode? I think so. It was one of the first ones, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I am looking forward to that. When have we got to wait until Christmas? Christmas is next, yeah. <laughs> oh, so long away. I know. While we're, while we're sort of hovering around the news corner, um, I cannot believe we haven't seen an Avengers Infinity War trailer yet. <sighs> <laughs> all that stuff coming out of D23 everyone everyone has seen it it's like this is the best trailer of the world and usually they, they will jump on that yeah. and then release it straight well, away they've, they've released all of they've released the um, Star Wars one yeah the Star Wars trailer and they just have not released and then they are bastards <laughs> and then you keep seeing all these people like, descriptive text of everything that happens in the Avengers Infinity War trailer. Yeah, I just want to I see it. I just want to see the trailer. <laughs> like, it's actually infuriating me I now. I can't that with it. The only thing you can see is some dodgy hand cam. But it's not but then, even it's not even the right bit because <laughs> like We've seen some you we we've, we've trolled YouTube for like as much of a teaser we could possibly find and it's all just crap or still images yeah or... but and, but the bit we have seen is not even the bit that i want to see because apparently thor meets the guardians of the galaxy yeah i want to see that yeah please disney let me see the trailer <laughs> please disney we know you listen to this oh you, you, hear, you hear every week but um did you see they um they had a panel with all the Disney princesses. No, I didn't. That's my kind of panel. That's yeah, they cool. had like Pocahontas, um, uh, Merida. Well, the voice actors or yeah, the original they voice were, actors. The, the original voice actors were on a panel. <laughs> so, that, yeah, they ranged from like, yeah, old school, like Pocahontas. Um, and... Mulan. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they did a panel. That's cool. That's very cool. And um, <laughs> what else came out of that? Nothing uh, I care about. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, there's oh, 
Okay, Wreck It Ralph two. Wreck It Ralph two. Yeah, I was about to say that. Um, Incredibles two. Yeah. All right. And what was the other two? And I was like having a little. I have to say, everybody says this, but The Incredibles literally are the best Fantastic Four. Oh, so good. They're so much better than Fantastic Four. And um, <laughs> Dumbo. They're doing the, a live, live action, action Dumbo. Dumbo. Um, That's weird. Tim. Tim Burton okay. is going to be involved. Oh, good. So Lord. if he ruins Dumbo. <laughs> I will not be happy. Oh my god! Could you imagine a Tim Burton inspired drunken Dumbo elephant scene? That thing is all. Oh that god, seed it's is going to make me have fucking. It's gonna make me have nightmares. <laughs> and we had the um, cast list, or some of the cast for the new Lion King. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, Will Smith. Uh, oh no, that's Aladdin. I'm getting confused Will between Smith two. Will Smith's the genie, yeah. yeah I'm getting yeah, confused Aladdin. between the two. Hugh Jackman is going to be Scar. In the new Lion in King. In the yeah. new Lion King. Will Smith is going to be the genie in Aladdin. Which I'm quite excited for, to be fair. So there was some, yeah, there was some Lion King and some Aladdin you know what? casting news. We watched Return of Jafar the other day. Been a while since you know film. And the guy playing the genie is Dan Castellaneta, who's the voice of Homer from The Simpsons. And obviously a whole bunch of other characters, because it's The Simpsons. And I realised when watching it that, like, the genie isn't a sacred role. I mean, Robin Williams probably is the iconic. That's fine. He can, you're not going to lose his version of the genie by making Will Smith the genie. And I'm actually kind of excited, because I, re- I think it's quite charismatic. I As I've said every hilarious. time... Oh! When... Cinderella came out. Well, it's not going to be as good as the original. Oh my god, I loved the remake of Cinderella. <laughs> Jungle Book. Oh, well, how do you do a live action when you're not even using real animals? Oh my god, the Jungle Book was the greatest. I didn't even realise they weren't real animals. Oh, they can't do Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is like my favourite film ever. They're going to ruin it. What happened when we sat <laughs> in Beauty and the Beast at the cinema? I cried from beginning to end. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I loved it. And I secretly might have enjoyed it more than the original Beauty and the Beast. <gasps> Shh, I know. Don't Can't say that. Don't, don't tell Mr. Chips. Little Chips. Don't tell him. Don't ruin <laughs> it for chips. him. Chip the cup. Chip the cup. From the original. Oh, okay, we won't tell him. <laughs> oh, no. Like... But you were pretty much on board from the first teaser trailer. Don't pretend. Oh that. yeah, I was. I was <laughs> like, so on board. It's like Emma Watson. As soon as I heard Emma Watson sing, I was like, "That's it, I'm on board." Yeah. Loving life. Yeah, pretty much. Two second trailer. Woo! Where do I sign yeah. up? Shut up and take my money. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so good. No, I everything that I heard from D23 made me happy. Except not being able to see the stupid Infinity War trailer. Because we, because Homecoming was great. If you haven't heard our review of that, you should check that out. Um, and I'm just so excited. They have Spider Man in the trailer for Infinity War as well, which is just such a which cool. Which you can't see. Just oh man, I'm so excited about yeah. that. No. But from things we can't see to things we have seen. Oh, clever segue. Thank you. <laughs> um, Game of Thrones. Let's not talk about Game of Thrones. It's back. Back in action. You secretly don't really like Game of Thrones. I'm sort of indifferent. <laughs> I could go on for why, but it doesn't matter. So, when did it come out? 2am? So, the first episode of Season 7. 2am yesterday, yesterday, 16th of July. Yeah. From when this was recorded, not uh, when you're listening. I've um, <laughs> watched it three times already. <laughs> It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. What did everything you were hoping to follow up on get followed up on at the after the end of the previous one? Oh, just. Was there a lot packed in? How long was it? Was it a regular episode? It was an hour. 
ish, like fifty five minutes. Just like I a think. regular episode length. Like, so yeah. who do you hear from? You hear from Arius. It's it's a pretty stark heavy episode. Sure. So you have Arya, Sansa. You see a bit of Bran. Jon Snow is in it. You catch up with the Lannisters and you finish up with Daenerys and it was just it was just what I needed to start off um, Game of Thrones season 7 and I am super excited about yeah. where it's going to go. She is actually happening now. <laughs> yeah, well... Some cool um, stuff going on. So... Um, Massive spoilers. Spoilers, <laughs> spoilers, spoilers. Well, we've already spoiled everything we just talked about, so yeah. okay, who cares? We That's need, what we do. We just, we just spoil it. <laughs> who cares? Everything is spoilers. Um, so, Aya is on a mission to just destroy everybody that has ever wronged her so (laughs) she at the end of the season six she killed walder frey yeah and in this one she just annihilates his whole family she um poisons them all and she just like so she's dressed up she does her faceless thing so she's dressed up as walder frey and she just is like turns to this girl like rips the face off when they're all dying turns to this girl and she's like tell anyone when anyone asks what happens here tell them that the north remembers you should have killed all the wall oh my god it was i love that girl and then she's trundling off and she's going to king's landing so obviously she's going to try and kill cersei i do really like Maisie she's Williams. doing her list yeah yeah yeah. sorry got just got there <laughs> <laughs> took me a while yeah yeah she's doing her list the list she doesn't write down anywhere and she meets ed sheeran to be honest you should just write stuff down what <laughs> she meets ed sheeran ed sheeran is a soldier in the first You're episode shitting me. they've got a guest star Got Ed Sheeran. This is as bad as David Beckham in <laughs> King Arthur, isn't it? Like, oh, what is that? he was cute. Hello, I'm a soldier, but I'm also a British man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never left university, really. <laughs> look at me, I always look drunk. Sorry. Who's um, that, Ed Sheeran or David Beckham? <laughs> that was Ed Sheeran, I don't know if you got okay. I couldn't take the piss out of him because I'm also ginger, so... Okay. Um, Those are the rules. And then... Sansa and Jon Snow are having ruckuses Ooh. about little little power battle between the two of them. So that might well, little um, finger still pressuring her to. Oh, she's not happy with little finger. Mm. Mostly because he's a dickhead. No, so she's not she's not loving little finger at the moment. Because, well, because he's pressuring her, or for other reasons. I think I don't know. Because she's realised that he's an absolute job's worth. I mean, he's always been. <laughs> but she was young. She didn't. She didn't realise. But then he will say. He will turn around and say to her, "Don't trust anything yeah. I say." Yeah. So I mean, at least he's an honest dickhead. Um, the Lannisters are absolute mental cases, as is always their way. Cersei's finale in the end of last series oh, was fucking amazing. Sh- that was incredible. She's like. I'm let, just gonna, just gonna blow, blow them all blow up. up. <laughs> That's so good. Let my son kill himself. Wee! So good. Now I'm the queen. La 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 la. I believe that was um, the song that she sang. <laughs> what else badass happened? Oh, the end. So Daenerys comes back to Westeros. Comes to her. Oh, she, oh, she, I guess so she escaped she's from been, Westeros in the first She's place. been in. She's been away. Yeah. And she's come back to claim her throne. Finally. So she comes in on her ships. It's a long she trip. comes into her ancestral home of Dragonstone. Oh, okay, that's where they landed. And oh, it's such a great scene. She lands, she walks, she kneels down in the sand and like touches the land, because obviously she's back home. And then she walks up 
to what would be the throne room and she just turns around and she just goes shall we begin oh that the, boom at the end of the episode that's the end of the episode <laughs> nice. and i was just like go watch that again i watched it three times today Jeez. i was so excited <laughs> the first time i did watch it at 5 a.m yeah because i was just like i have to watch it I have to watch it i because america got it before us so really really we shouldn't be getting it until nine o'clock tonight so in 35 minutes is when it will be on telly here but illegally downloading is wrong but um that's how i got it um well we're gonna we 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 pay for now tv anyway so we're gonna watch it Anyway, so. Oh yeah, we'll get it on now. TV <laughs> so, too. So, yeah. I, it doesn't really count. It doesn't count. Um, is what how I just told myself. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get all Twitter because literally Twitter was just bombarding with, oh my god, <laughs> this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, and I was like, I've got to watch it before something gets spoiled for me. Yeah. yeah um, but I've never watched Game of Thrones like this before. I've always waited. Yeah until the end of the series and caught up all in one go I've got to wait a whole week for another yeah, episode yeah. How do you, I don't how do you survive? I don't know how I'm going to do it also really short season wait, how, how long are the seasons usually 13 episodes so we are talking 7 7 episodes seven so episodes nearly nearly half and then 7 for the next one or whatever I think it's 7 this one and then six next. So they're actually taking a thirteen episode series and then splitting them, splitting in half, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Jesus, and you probably have to wait in the middle there. Yeah. That's bad. Well, we know why they're doing. So it. what they're do- what they're doing is they're, and I think you could tell from this episode they are using the same budget for less episodes. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so yeah. everything is just epic <laughs> um so yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward because they all i think they all know that daenerys is going to end up coming to um uh, dragonstone yeah um because also uh, that's where loads of dragon glass is so john snow's going to end up there at some point is dragon glass the thing that can dragon kill? class is gonna dragon class Dragon glass will kill the White Walkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's just so much happened. So much happened that I can't even tell you. It was amazing. This sounds pretty good. Amazing. <laughs> First new character. Yeah, really? Jim Broadbent. Oh, uh, really? He is um, an Archmaester in the Citadel. He's great. And I already love him. I hope I see loads of him because he's... He's just so cute. He is great. But I didn't I didn't see Davos. No. Davos was not in this episode. The Onion Knight is your favourite. He is my favourite. And I don't care. Everybody else can die. (laughs) Everybody else can die. He needs to survive till the end. Which he survived Stannis. He survived everything. So I reckon we'll be alright. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm done with Game of Thrones now because I know you don't really enjoy it. <laughs> well, like, I love it. I love hearing about it because there's some really good... There's some really good plot points, but, like, it drug, drugged its feet. There you go. <laughs> drag it. <laughs> it drug drag its it, feet with LSD. Drag it, dragged its feet. It did. What is the plural? Dragged. Dragged, yeah. <laughs> That's not even plural, is Dragged. it? Dragged. No, it's not plural. It's, it's not what you're after. It's... Past tense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have... Uh, we're both British and we have a perfect grasp of the English language. No, I don't. Drugged. Drug. Drug. No, dragged. Drag, dragged. All right. All right. <laughs> no, yeah, um... It dragged its feet so much when it kicked off. Mm. I just, I just got bored of it. 
I'm yeah really well really I can okay. never get bored of it <laughs> love the books love the series love everything it's the best well, how many more dragons do you think they could have had I want all the, the dragons no but how many dragons could they have had if the first three seasons did have started off with dragons do you know what I mean <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> fully grown hey, dragons at the beginning what sex are all the dragons do know, we know they, this they seem like that one that's Drogon is probably a that's bloke. a boy probably Viserion seems to me boyy. They all sound like boyy names. I don't remember the They all sound quite boyy, so maybe we won't get any more dragons. Well, unless they breed like by mitosis or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have baby dragons, I don't know. Oh, baby dragons are cute. They were cute in the beginning of Now the they're Thrones. actual badass. Yeah, they do look, again, stunning CGI on those dragons. Really they're good. Very, very impressive. Yeah. I'm, I'm always impressed by them. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm looking forward to the series. So, for the next seven, eight weeks, we'll have a Game we're going to be having section. a Game of Thrones <laughs> rundown because, yeah, yeah that's all I'm no into. No worries. Because we are going to have a Twin Peaks roundup when I'm done with that shit. Okay, babe. <laughs> Twin Peaks just started watching it. We're up, I'm up to episode four of the new series. It's very interesting. And by that I mean... Weird. Kind of don't know what the fuck is going on. But it's great. Swearing. Rude. You managed to nearly get through a whole episode what? without swearing. <laughs> I kind of don't know what the bleep is going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't be watching it, so you can do the rundown yourself. I will tell you all about it, and you'll have to pretend like you're interested. Okay, cool. <laughs> Deal? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Anything else? I don't think so. I don't... Unless there's anything else you want to talk about? No. I'm cool. happy. Well, I've well, discussed everything I wanted to discuss today. Perfect. Yeah, alright, let's wrap up then. Do you want to do the wrap it up for a change? No, because I've forgotten what you everything you said <laughs> at the time. Damn right you have. This is my job. This is my job. Um I know what I do say though. Beautiful beard. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, I'd like to thank our good friend. Ten years gone, who and his luscious beard and his luscious beautiful beard for making our theme song our, for our opening credity bit. Um, <laughs> it's not really credits because there's no text. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> he's he's great at the musics and he also um, sells. Uh, he has his own music on Spotify and iTunes and he it's really good. It's all good stuff. I love it. Um, uh, if you want any of his stuff uh, on Spotify or Apple Music, or if you're interested in looking him up. Uh, he is 10 years gone, no spaces, um, on all these, or most of the services. On Twitter, he is at I am 10 years gone, no spaces. Um, and yeah, yeah, hit him up if you're interested in... Music. Music in general. <laughs> um, he is, yeah, he's pretty great. Uh, as ever, we, uh, you can find us online at uh, our website is cuttingroomfloor.blog on twitter we are at crfloorpod because all the good names are taken now and uh, I am at bdogcarter on twitter at speckle underscore 15 boom another episode dropped down your ear holes <laughs> done Ear holes Let's go. Gross. Let's go have ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yay. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Ice cream.